because I'd like to take a risk. I'm just going to assume everything is working. Except for maybe like... Oh, my bruise. My bruise is green. Yeah, so that's that's a bruise. Um, don't run into doors. So I... Uh, it, it, if you're watching me try this the first time... Fuck up. Kind of bad. But I get an ending. And there's multiple endings. So, we're just gonna count that as getting an ending. Uh, and we're gonna try again. I think you could just jump right into the bombing in this, it looks like, and not the, um, and not have to do the whole intro again. So, we're gonna see if that's what this is. And you can pick a theme. So, we're gonna go with Winter Night. And we're gonna start shift. And I hardly, and I think after sitting and contemplating on this for a while, I think I realized how to do this. I make no promises, though. Day one. And shift. Maybe this is... I don't know. Okay. Okay, I think we're just... Oops, I gotta remember all the controllers. Um, At least I can keep track of things. Yes. Um, and then I think... Uh, okay, maybe not. Maybe it won't work the same way. Um, Okay, so then maybe that's not how this works. And I'm just doing normal embalming. Okay, so we don't want to do it this way. Damn it. Okay, so we'll go back to the main game. I want to just. I want to. I want to. I want to do a snowy night. Okay, well, we'll just do new shift. Because I'm confused. Good stuff, look at hers. <sighs> so I failed again. I picked the wrong right body, wrong demon. with me to stab people with anything at all. No. Death and Decay, a book covering positive science. Alright, let's go. See just how many times I can fuck this up. Use that here. Okay. At 
least I can keep track of things. My friend contacted me, and he's like five foot four and uh, Hispanic. Uh, so, and the only reason I say it is because he has he has a little darker skin, and so because I'm white, he's always like he calls me like he used to call me snowflake and that you know bad terms, and I called me like white dove or whatever. And so I've always called him like my short little stack of flapjacks. Like we're just really close. <laughs> Never even met the dude, but we've known each other for years online. And I just <clears throat> he messaged me just now. So I was like, uh, hey, shorty flap, flap, flap stack or something. He's like, he's like, say that. He's like, ouch, my pride. Look down into my eyes and say that. He's like, yep. They're our friends for a reason. Let's see. Hi, buddy. Want to be my first to go? You look freshly dead. What did I say about lights? I need lights. So what killed you, sir? There we go. Probably nothing of mass importance, huh? Your lack of movement is telling, sir. Cordell or a buzz? Not a little older than I am. Not it. No, I'm thinking something else. I don't know. Okay, anyway. What did I say about the lights? Oh good, everything's back where I like. Say so I need that. Thank you. No, can't I can't open the bottom drawer? Not today? Ah, there we go. Hey, 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 hey. See, I like where everything is perfectly where I like it to be. It's great. Yes, now we work with, with Noble Sinclair.
That's our There we go. All right. Why did you let me die? Partly because I just didn't care. I can't use fault. that here. I regret every second with you. Time is running out, Rebecca. <laughs> you know, time's not running out. But my sanity might be. And when that goes, God help us. Imagine if you actually worked in a place with ghosts and you just get so it's like you're trying to haunt, it's like no I'm, I'm busy right now haunt me in like 30 minutes. In 30 minutes I am free to be haunted. Right now I have phone calls and documents to file. There we go. <laughs> Oh, 
always bring a card with you. You look very handsome. Your lips aren't dry at all. Put that booger out of your nose. All right. Do this one handed. I guess I should thank him for putting it in my underwear before he does Okay. So go back to sleep. So far I don't think you're the monster. Okay, who are you? Paris Camacho. Paris, you are quite the nice looking man, I guess. Keep getting this guy. I'm sure they have. That's a big mole. There we go. on his head. Got a blemish and mild abrasion on the right shoulder. Got a mole on the right arm. Sorry, that was the right arm. Got a rash on the left arm. This guy has some health issues.
There we go. Okay, boo boo. Iris. Hey. Sweet child of mine. All right. Let's get this cocktail of goodness underway. Oh, you're not much seeming like a demon either. something. Yes. Uh, scapula. They are very useful in this moment. Hard to cut skin without the sharpness. Bitch messes with my I hold them like a teddy bear in the night. You're losing your shit. What are you doing here? <laughs> Sorry, I was taking a bathroom break from embalming. But you gotta go. Just ask the dead people, when you gotta go, you gotta go. There we go. Back to the bathroom.
Alright. Uh -uh, my bodies have moved. And weird markings. Ahead. This is as fast as I can go. Jump at me. Nobody's likes to jump at me. Okay, let's get there. Our stuff. demon possessiveness. Oh, there it's, um, pus. Nice clean hands. It's good. It's good. It hasn't been playing in the mud. Definite scratches on the body. Now there's pus on the back. Definitely got some scratch marks there. <laughs> I assume you're our demon, just FYI. There we go. Ah. And a rash on the wrist.
hit this one because I've already lost twice. There we go. All right. you so much. I don't care about anything anymore. I don't want to be here without you. Please, just... I love you. Somebody! Get me out of here! They're gonna... They're gonna kill me! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! I'm sitting here holding your coin right now, wondering if I ever have one of my own. What would the point you be? Even if one day I'm sitting here holding my own, no matter how many years I've printed on it, I would still always have yours in my other hand. Never changing, stuck forever. It would always remind me of the life I cut short while I keep going. I can't imagine it. Five-year-old coin, my dad's sobriety coin. My dad's necklace. I've thought about how I'm going to write this over and over, paper after paper, thrown away. And then I realize it doesn't matter who's going to read this. Some nurse who will shake their head and move on. Someday someone will think of me for the last time and I'll be gone like I should be. Moment for a moment, I've wasted. I lost you because I was selfish. I never listened and it killed you. I ruined everything all my own. My one real accomplishment. I can't do it anymore. I can't stay here pretending I want to be better. The truth is, I've given up. I gave up the moment I killed you. I don't want to be part of this anymore. I don't want to cause any more pain. There isn't a day I don't think about you. Memories will flash into my mind, uninvited in a moment of bliss torn down by unimaginable guilt. Nothing they give me helps. I still have your necklace. It's one of the few things they let me keep in here. I'm not sure I can handle having it anymore, though. I'm giving it to Grandma when she re... re when she visits next. I want so badly to have that piece of you with me, but I'm afraid of it. I don't deserve it. 
You told me that when I was little I would put it around your neck every morning as a way to wake you up. I guess kids just like shiny things and annoying their parents. I don't remember it much. I just remember you being annoyed with me after the hundredth time. But I would give anything to put it around your neck one last time to see you. You should have died when you had the chance! Thank God it auto saves. Second time it's done this. Okay, cool. Not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I was like, oh, I better not have to repeat so much of that. Sorry, put your bulge away. You're dead. You don't need it. There we go.
There we go. You can't speak when your mouth is shut. All right. Missing something. I wish I could save because I feel like it's gonna crash. All right, we found him. It's a robos. So let's see. 
Rebecca. It's me. It's your grandma. I need you to let me know, sweetie. No, Grandma, I am not. Don't you love your grandma? No, not really. I know that was gonna happen. Okay. Last time she stayed at the window. Missing something. Sorry, yeah, okay, that kind of disturbed me. Just I can't a hold bit. anything else. I can't hold anything else. Okay. That's not it. Maybe we return to the wardrobe. Put it back in the wardrobe. Easy enough. Good. Awesome. Uh, go fuck yourself. There we go. She was scary to start with how the mater. here still can you deal with that guy
out with you. Once an entity finds you, all the houses of hell will do anything to get back to you. I'm sorry, but it doesn't end here. From now on, there is always a chance this will happen again, no matter where you are. I don't want this. I just want to leave. What do I do? I'm sorry, but there's no going back. I've spent years learning everything I can to keep these entities at bay. It's the only thing we can do. So what, you're waging some selfless holy war? It's not a war. It's survival. And I'd hardly call it selfless. We're caught at the front line of something larger. But I don't do this for some greater good. We either face it, or fall to it. I wish I could claim to be someone better. Suffering hell to save us all. But I simply want to live another day just like everyone else. When I first experienced this, I had to make a choice. I could run and spend the rest of my days in fear, or I could learn to face it and keep some semblance of a normal life. Normal. Right. It's not a life I would want for anyone, but choosing between a life of fear or control you're the first person I've met to face this hell and survive. So I'm offering you a different kind of job. Work the night shift. Learn what I know. Give yourself a chance at a life beyond fear. I don't know what you experienced, but I know it uses the worst parts of you against yourself. The more you experience, the more you'll confront the darkest parts of your life. But through it, you'll become unbreakable. I'm offering the tools to take control. The choice is yours. I hope you come back. I did it. So I'm guessing the more we play, the more we get into the story, the more things will happen, right? Cool. But I just played two rounds, so I will um, probably try again. Maybe later tonight, maybe tomorrow, I don't know. 
But, uh, I want to stretch my knee, I want to get in my hot tub, I want to relax. Ooh, my hip. So, thank you for watching. <laughs>